Welcome to our exhibition. I just want to, in, uh, to ask Martin to say a few words and ask him to introduce himself. <laughs> He's the director. Good on the <laughs> Just do everything, Martin. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm Martin Clark. I'm the director of Grandpa's Heritage. Uh, and uh, we send maybe 400 students and teachers to Cyprus every year to do practical training and work experience. Uh, and I'm delighted to have about 30 of them here tonight. So the Central St. Martin students, hands up. Uh, our traditional skills left, Cara. And our environmental skills. Also, they've been doing a survey of a burnt area in Catodri. So everything that Grampus does is about sustainability. Uh, not just environmental sustainability, but also cultural sustainability. And this is, this is culture. I mean, this is real culture. Kept alive, kept contemporary, kept modern, not just a little bit of history, actually it is a bit of history, yeah. but it's, it's kept alive and kept current, and this is so important. We also deal in social sustainability, so intergenerational learning, young people reconnecting with their ancestors and their grandparents, learning things from them. And we also uh, think that economic sustainability is critical as well. So. Uh, if we can get all those four pillars of sustainability, we've really made it. Uh, very often in life, we throw away the environmental and cultural sustainability, chasing money. And this should not be. And Stas wasn't like that. No. Uh, Stas was uh, a really genuine carer about the environment. He championed the use of waste. Uh, he championed the, the place of the ordinary man. He was a, an anarchist. Uh, I'm a bit of an anarchist. Uh, not a, he wasn't a bomb thrower. Oops. Uh, he was a... That's, that's the police. <laughs> oh. The FBI. Very <laughs> cool. Um, but he was, he was a real genuine fellow. And, uh, of course, he had a, a very famous career, a controversial career. Uh, we won't go into that too much. No, you can read about it. <laughs> uh, and people come from all over the world to visit uh, the Lemba Wall. Uh, Stas died six years ago, but his legacy lives on, and this is very, very important. And to have students come here from Central St. Martins or wherever, uh, is a fantastic thing. This guy was telling me he comes every few years. People just coming here for, like on a pilgrimage, really. Many famous artists pass through here. And people who really stretched art and that made a real contribution to contemporary art. Uh, this is so important, and it's so important that Margaret and uh, Emilio, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm having a cigarette, sorry. <laughs> uh, keep it going. Um, there's been a lot of support from the Cyprus state, but slow to come through with the money that's necessary to keep it going. But it's, it is pledged, I think. It's pledged and it's promised and it's been promised for the past, how many years? 15 years is it going on? Uh, yeah. 12 years or something? They are supposed to be um, like making us new studios and new accommodation. But we live in hope. Those talks will restart in September. Right, right. <laughs> I, remember, uh, I remember Stas once saying to me, we were doing a sculpture park up in the Trodos Mountains. And um, the head of the Department of Forest said, Martin, they can see the site and they can make anything they like. And I said this to Stas and he said, Martin, don't believe it. 
uh, and Stas made a, uh, well, it wasn't just Stas, but it was a, it was a tree in a steel cage. It was a very thoughtful piece of art. Uh, and the, di the deputy director came here and he just went, mm. and Stas went, mm. uh, two days before these sculptures arrived from all over Europe, I got a message from the head of the Department of Forests saying, Mr. Martin, we want a mouflon, an eagle owl, and a vulture. And that was it. And anything else kitsch that you need to show <laughs> And I had the job of telling the sculptors as they came off the plane, uh, I know I said you could do anything, but uh, you need to do these. It's been narrowed down. It's like a bit of a revolution. And half of them said, sod it, I'm doing what I want. And those sculptures are dotted all over Cyprus now. A few are up in the sculpture trail behind the Environmental Centre in Trondheim. Uh, but Stas knew how it was going to turn out. Yeah. And in that very wise way, that uh, looking like a cross between Zorba the Greek and Captain Birdseye, <laughs> he, he really told it like it was. And he always did. Uh, so it's great to be here tonight with so many students, young people, uh, so many creative people, so many old friends, and let's look at a fantastic exhibition. Uh, and thank you everybody for coming along. Thank you.